When the market opens in little under an hour, we'll buy the stock and hold it for 48 hours. And you're completely certain the report is genuine? Came from the minister himself. And when that report goes public, the stock will go through the roof. I'm in. Gabriel? Gentlemen, I'm sure it's not too early for a bottle of champagne to celebrate, is it? Never. <laughs> Susan, would you do the honors? Actually, not for me. Not allowed to drink on duty, you see. Duty. Detective Inspector Alan Richards. On your nicked. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Um, is, is, is Dr. Patelli? No, I'm sorry, she's not. I'm handling her patients. Can I help? Ah, oh, yes, you'll need to see them. Well, you need to make an appointment. No, I really... Um, I'll, I'll wait. I've got a very full schedule. Speak to the reception. Well, I'll just get fobbed off. Please, please. I'll see what I can do. Just excuse me for a while. Prison service seem convinced they're the only people in the country capable of looking after a prisoner. Hmm. This is John Cotham, criminal royalty, a household name round here in the 80s. The old school arm robber. Seems like he's coming to his senses. He insists on giving us enough to move that to the solved cases file. <coughs> the doctor's concerned about you. I'm concerned about you. So why don't you save us all this palaver and just tell us where the gun is? I'm going to show you. <coughs> you couldn't just give us directions then, eh? Sit here with the doctor, mind you, while we'll go and dig for it. We can get you a solicitor in too. You know, it hasn't escaped my notice that the address you've given us is that of your associate, Dickie Weld, recently deceased. Is that a fact? Sorry, former alleged associate. We never managed to pin anything on non-stick dick. So, if you're willing to undergo some rather intrusive procedures and uh, organise your calendar for a while around frequent visits here... We are. Yours? She's lovely. Thank you. Yeah, I've got three. One of each. <laughs> Bit of IVF humour there. <laughs> no? Um, obviously, there remains the prospect of it being unsuccessful. But that's not very likely, is it? I mean, we're both young and healthy. Well, young and healthy is good. Yeah. There is a wait. How long? We want to get started, don't we? At the moment, in the Hotton district, anything between two months and a year. A year? At the very outside. <laughs> Chris Wright, how can I help? How do you know that? Know what? My name. Well, I don't. You just called me Chris Wright. Well, that's me. Hey, what can I get you? Peggy Mitchell. Sorry? I want to see the owner. I'm out of pocket thanks to her not giving me the manager's job. I'm afraid she's not around. That's all right. I can wait. Might be a while. No problem. Look. Why don't I just give you some cash from the till and you tell me how much that piggy owes you? That's not the point. She promised me a job. Yeah, well, the job is gone now. I've got it, all right. Why don't you go over to an amateur like you? Uh, it's not I have to be a friend of the family. Yeah, well, like I say, I'll wait for Mrs Mitchell and see what she's got to say for herself. Mrs Nelson. William Gerald, consultant. At last. Sorry about the ways. We've taken your daughter down to the medical assessment ward. She was ketotic when she arrived. We've put her on an insulin drip and fluids to stabilise her levels. You can see her any time. But she's going to be OK. She should be. We'd hope to see an improvement in the next few hours. If all goes well, she could be fit to go home tomorrow. <sighs> we had to take your husband down for an X-ray and an arteriogram. That's why there was a delay. We needed to check the location of the bullet. Um, excuse me a minute, Doctor. Craig. I bet he's parched. Go and get him a drink out of that machine, will you? What is it? We were concerned that the bullet could have severed an artery. It hasn't, but it's lying very close. And? Well, the fear is during surgery an artery could be damaged. Would he die? There's always a risk with any surgery, no matter how small. His injuries aren't life-threatening at the moment. <laughs> 